Hey guys, this is Heather. Welcome to day 11 of my 12 day at home obedience program. Today we are working on the recall or coming when called. Uh, this is a very challenging thing for dogs to learn, but it's something that is absolutely vital that your dog knows how to do it. Inside, outside, in any situation, with distractions, without distractions. So in the video, you're gonna see that we start inside and I've got my dog doing it inside. But then I also included a client's dog um, in the video, a puppy who was just learning it for the first time inside. And there's some frustration on the owner's part. And I just wanted to show you that because it's perfectly normal to be starting from that point. Um, and I don't want anyone to get disappointed because it does get easier. Uh, and then we move it outside and you'll see my dog again doing it outside. Um, she's got a pretty good recall right now, but I never let it slip. I'm, I'm working on it with her quite a bit. So that's it. I hope you guys like the video. See you next time. So right now my assistant is down the hallway and she's holding Maggie as best as she can. And then I yell in a very animated tone, come Maggie. Uh, and she comes running toward me and I say, good girl. And I give her a treat. Uh, so we're doing it a second time and we're backing up a little bit further down the hall. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to say, come Maggie, as animated as I can. And you can see she comes running toward me for the treat. So after this, we're going to take it outside. Good boy. Yes, good boy. Iggy, come. Come on. Iggy. Iggy, come. Come on. Hey, come on. Iggy, come. Iggy, come. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Sit down. Thank you. Good boy. Iggy, come. Good boy. Now see if you can, if he'll sit without you having to say it. Iggy, come. Iggy, Iggy, come, come on, Iggy, Iggy, come, Iggy, uh, come here, please, Iggy, come, Iggy. So you can see that we've moved outside now and I've got Maggie in a sit stay, which she does really well. I've got a long line so she can't run off anywhere and it's important that when you take this outside, you do practice with a long line so your dog can't take off unless you're in a fenced in yard or something. But as you can see, I called Maggie the same way. I said, come Maggie, in a really animated tone. And then she came running toward me and I said, good girl, and I gave her a treat. Uh, one thing to know when teaching a recall is if you don't think your dog is going to come, then don't do it. Go get your dog. And while you're training, that might happen a lot where you go to say, come so-and-so, and they don't budge. And that just means they're not completely trained. You just don't want that to happen. So if you don't think that your dog is going to come to you, then go get her. Uh, but you can see that Maggie's doing really well with this. She comes as soon as I call her.